Welcome to the Awaka Creek Watershed. A beautiful scene, isn't it? Fishing, kayaking, nature exploration, surrounded by cows in the pasture, all because of a healthy watershed. So what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land where the surface water from rain, melting snow, flows downhill to a single point, usually where it joins another body of water, such as a stream, river, lake, or eventually an ocean. In the continental United States, there's 2,110 watersheds. We're standing in a watershed right now, the Awaka Creek Watershed. The Awaka Creek Watershed encompasses over 215 square miles of land in parts of Wyoming, Genesee, Livingston, and Monroe counties in western New York State that drain into the Awaka Creek, a stream that is the third largest tributary to the Genesee River. 23 towns and villages are wholly or partially contained within the Awaka Creek watershed boundaries. The creek provides drinking water, fishing, light boating, and recreation, and its beauty enhances the quality of life here. People, animals, and plants depend on good, clean water. When we water our lawns or crops, that water soaks into the ground. When we wash our cars in the driveway, that water has to go somewhere and quite often it pours into the storm drains in our streets. The rain and melting snow flow downhill along with the water from our lawns and fields and streets. Everything eventually slopes down to the larger bodies of water in our area. Anything that makes this water unhealthy, including motor oil, pet waste, misapplied fertilizers or garbage, can make people, plants, animals and fish unhealthy too. Runoff and erosion are also a source of pollution in our waterways with sediments, foreign material, and excess nutrients. Although having adequate nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen is important for getting good yields of agricultural crops to feed both humans and livestock, they need to be managed properly to protect the watershed. Overapplied nutrients added to fields can be washed out in runoff, ending up in streams and lakes in the watershed. These excess nutrients can cause excessive growth of algae and lead to more serious problems such as low levels of oxygen dissolved in the water, decreasing the water quality and the habitat for aquatic life living there. Adding sources of nutrients to crops is expensive, so farmers are concerned about nutrient management for economic as well as environmental reasons. Farmers follow a nutrient management plan which outlines the amount form, placement, and timing of the application of nutrients to plants. It includes soil testing, testing of the sources of nutrients such as fertilizer, manure, food waste products, and other forms, and determines an application rate that supplements but does not exceed the nutrient levels that actually can be used by the crops. This is why farmers apply nutrients to their fields when the ground can accept them and use them. They also are careful to limit the application near drainage ditches, streams, wetlands, property lines, and wells. Another important part of a nutrient management plan is proper storage and transfer of all nutrient-containing material to prevent leakage, spills, or runoff entering directly into surface water, like during a heavy rain. Landowners who don't protect against soil erosion not only lose their own soil, they end up losing sediment, nutrients, and other pollutants and affect everyone downstream. Without proper conservation, there are downstream consequences such as flooding, stream bank erosion, sediment clogged lakes, and pollutants in drinking water. From farms and neighborhoods to towns and villages, people's lives are connected by falling rain and flowing water. We each need to do our part to maintain a healthy watershed because we're all truly connected.